Non-invasive ventilation is a method of providing positive pressure ventilation without the use of an artificial airway. The primary goal is to avoid intubation. When a patient is receiving non-invasive ventilatory support, as a respiratory therapist, it's important to know how to titrate or make adjustments to the settings on the machine, depending on the specific needs of the patient. And that is exactly what we are going to talk about in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As we mentioned, with non-invasive ventilation, since there is no artificial airway, this reduces some of the complications that are associated with conventional mechanical ventilation. The two primary types are BiPAP and CPAP. Without getting too deep into this topic, before you can know how to titrate a patient, you must first know and understand the two primary settings for non-invasive ventilation. And they are IPAP and EPAP. IPAP stands for Inspiratory Positive Airway Pressure and is an airway pressure that is above zero during the inspiratory phase of breathing. It works similarly to peak airway pressure in traditional mechanical ventilation. So if you were to increase the IPAP setting, this will increase the delivered tidal volume. EPAP, on the other hand, stands for Expiratory Positive Airway Pressure and is an airway pressure that is above zero during the expiratory phase of breathing. It works similar to PEEP in traditional mechanical ventilation or CPAP during spontaneous breathing. If you were to increase the EPAP setting, this would improve the patient's oxygenation status by increasing the functional residual capacity. So essentially, during titration, you can make adjustments to the IPAP and EPAP settings depending on the patient's ventilatory and oxygenation status. A very simplified way of looking at it is that if a patient needs more oxygen, you could increase the level of PEEP by increasing the EPAP setting. If the patient needs a larger tidal volume, you would increase the IPAP setting. Again, the IPAP and EPAP levels can be adjusted depending on the patient's needs. In general, when initiating non-invasive ventilation, a good starting point for the settings is 10 over 5, with 10 being the IPAP setting and 5 being the EPAP setting. With that said, the appropriate initial pressure setting for IPAP can range from 8 to 12 centimeters of water pressure. The initial EPAP setting can range from 4 to 5 centimeters of water pressure. The IPAP and EPAP can be adjusted in increments of 1 to 2 centimeters of water pressure depending on the needs of the patient. But back to our previous example, let's look at it in reverse. Let's say the patient is receiving a tidal volume that is too large, which means that they are blowing off too much CO2. In this case, you could decrease the IPAP setting in order to decrease the inspiratory pressure, which would result in a smaller tidal volume being delivered. This video was meant to provide you with a quick overview of this topic. If you want us to dive even deeper into making adjustments to BiPAP and CPAP settings, let us know down in the comment section below. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.